welcome to the Apex uh, Civil Engineer YouTube channel all over the world and today we are going to discuss about analysis of arches and cables first we are going to uh, discuss about analysis of cables maybe ne in next video we will be able to uh, talk about the arches here cables cables are used in engineering structures as main load carrying elements example suspension bridge uh, it, it carries the load of the bridge uh, the slabs and piers and all so there are two main cases uh, cables subjected to concentrated loads and cables under distributed loads distributed loads are something like this the loads are going like this and everywhere you have loads concentrated load you have one single point load something right when dry deriving relations between forces in cables and its slopes it is assumed that the cable is perfectly flexible and inextensible due to flexibility cable does not resist shear or bending all right due to inextensibility constant length before and after loading has to be taken so cable subjected to concentrated loads how we are going to do those type of things now we are going to discuss about that when a cable of negligible weight now weight must be zero we we consider weight as zero otherwise we can't uh, work out a negligible weight supports several concentrated loads the cable takes the form of several straight line segments each subjected to a constant tensile force you can clearly see the thing which i have done see this is the cable this is the cable and you have weights several concentrated loads two loads the cable takes the form of several straight line segments one two three so uh, each subjected to a constant tensile force in every part you have tensile force t1 t1 this part you have t2 t2 different this type you have t3 t3 so these are the lengths of the the the, the linear parts uh, lengths the geometry of the cable is known then the tension of the cables can be found easily by considering the equilibrium of the knots if magnitudes of loads are changed then the geometry of the structure will also change keeping all member forces as tensile the, the form acquired by the cable is often called the funicular shape funicular shape so here we have a great example of a suspension bridge this is a suspension bridge here you have you can see the river bed now the river is going like this water level is here but water can be come up in a high flooded season so we have to take that also to the consideration this is the high flood level and this is earth all right uh, now you can find uh, you can form abutment in the river the, the two by the sides of the river and you have to form this kind of uh, towers two towers or several towers towers are formed in the top of the tower you have pulleys in those pulleys the cable is going like this because the loads it takes this shape and cable is going like this at the end of the cable you can see the anchor we call it a dead man all right uh, so river deck is there deck is hang with uh, hangers hanger cables to the the main cable so uh, this main cable sacks and this is the amount of sack in the main cable also you ha can have uh, the tensile forces generated this is the river bed so if we consider about the cable and the decks so deck is hung by these type of cables and in the cables the tensile forces are there so when we are going to solve this problem you have you can cut this problem into two parts you can cut it and you can have this one single portion because it's uh, because of the symmetricity then this part you you can have this cable and in here you have horizontal reaction vertical reaction in point a 
uh, and span is L when you consider a small portion it's uh, the half portion L over 2 so you have this uh, UDL W naught here also you have sa same reactions that's why we took only half of this structure when we idealize the structure so let's go to the next step here when you consider the vertical equilibrium so you have uh, two R's at the two two points so two R should be W naught is UDL into the entire length W so R is equal to half into W naught L so consider one half in one half you have H you have uh, this one span over two R H you have this cable tension because it's horizontal in the midpoint now R is found as uh, half into W naught L so when we write an equation for the the, the moment around the point C you can clearly see that H is the force the perpendicular distance is simple H H into simple H is moment this uh, side uh, counterclockwise around C the other side you have minus uh, R is in other side R uh, R we found uh, half into W naught L so this is R into this distance is L naught 2 so we have that moment there and plus another moment is acting uh, by W naught load so W naught uh, load is acting in L over 2 uh, direction so it's the load and for that load center you have L over 4 distance this distance is L over 4 because entire distance is L and this one is L over 2 so you have this uh, moment so the moment should be for the equilibrium equal to 0 now you can determine h h is w naught l square into 8h so horizontal components of force at any point along cable remain constant so when you consider the entire cable you have w naught you have hr and you can consider kind of certain uh, point with the horizontal distance x and uh, the vertical distance y constant point d the, the constant point d so now you can consider the equilibrium of may portion uh, ad ad portion then you can take uh, the equations around point d for the equilibrium then you can write the equations for moment and for equilibrium it should be zero then you can determine y uh, with respect to x now you have uh, uh, an equation syntax uh, written uh, by determined by uh, this process now you can find uh, any point now uh, when uh, point 1 x is equal to 0 y is equal to true of point 2 point 2 is x e to l and y into 0 at point 3 it's uh, x is half divide dy x is 0 and y is equal to h so the shape of the cable subjected to horizontal distribution udl is parabolic you can clearly uh, see that here the shape is parabolic and when the slope of cable is uh, theta we can take the slope of the cable consider as theta at suppose uh, the supports theta is dy over dx when x is equal to 0 so you have the equation you can take dy over dx by differentiation and you can substitute x is equal to 0 then you can take the value of theta as 4h of l so you can determine a value for theta the angle of the cable too so if there's a knot because force in cable is tension and very very along length so t tension minimum minimum tension is at c so it can be found as h w naught l square over h we found it maximum tension is at a point a what is point a point a is this one uh, wait this one this one point a uh, so that is the maximum uh, tension is there t max can be found square root of this equation and tan theta uh, so tan theta is uh, opposite side over uh, adjacent side using that you can find tan theta using that you can find the angle so that is it so we can have an example very quickly we can go through this example cable in figure below supports a girder beam with 20 kilonewton alright 
can see that determine the tension in cable at point a b c a b c a b c so this is 20 kilo newton udl so in these two points are not horizontal so it's below 6 meter c is below 6 meter so we have to uh, solve the equation so when uh, you have a parabolic curves now when you consider the problem you can uh, simplify like this you have two reactions in this a point and b point you have cable tension so we got as capital H and in C point you have two reactions X2 and Y2 so these are the dimensions alright we don't know what is the distance for this point so we take it A then the total length is 30 so this length might, might be 30 minus A now we can start solving the cable is a combination of two parabolic shapes for segment AB this one is AB AB uh, origin at A the, the sag h1 is 12 meters sag h1 is 12 meters all right the entire entire sag is 12 meters for segment bc is small part uh, the sag is 6 meters because it has only sag this one this amount it's large one so from <coughs> provisions the previous results capital h tension is 8 l square w l square over 8 h uh, then from segment AB tension AB can be tension at AB can be found with the same uh, equation we found previously using that equation so this is the equation equation you can find it by substituting the value so from the segment CB all right CB HCB is 20 2a square over 8 into H using the same results that is this result and equate HAB over HACB because the H is the sorry, horizontal and the tension is uh, same at the same point so we can equate these two then you can form uh, an equation of A uh, quadratic equation not qu yes square equation so you can solve it and you can find distance A also so we can solve this type of uh, cable problems like that this is the further of that uh, problem R C can be found R C C R C is reaction here it can be found by taking the moments around this point A and uh, using the vertical equilibrium A R A plus R C should be 600 because the entire vertical downward load is 600 using that you can find reaction at A and uh, re resultant at A so the maximum also can be found like this uh, by taking the moments and equilibrium equations you can find the angle also so that's how we work out the example of cables so we can meet uh, with with uh, the, the analysis of arches in next YouTube video until then hang with us subscribe us and share for the narrow thank you very much